highly requested format was just added to Adobe Express. Now we can create slideshow presentations. So simply log in into your Adobe Express account. You can create it for free as well. And then click presentation. It's currently here at the top in get started. It will show you your first slide. It's currently empty, but we can apply some a nice template or theme straight away here from the left. Keep in mind, the one with the little crown are paid. So if you are a free user like me, just avoid them. All right, let's use this one. And as you can see, it's loaded the whole set. At first I got only one page, but now I got all 12 pages because that's how many different variation of the slide person that prepared this team prepared for us. So I should simply need to fill it with my content. I can click on the text. I can even modify the font from recommended section or from the list if I like. I can change the color of it here on the left. But if I double tap on it, I will be able to type it. This is just a text box. Here it is. All right, we can also turn on the layer panel on the right. This way you can see all of the elements on this current slide. So you can select from here as well to highlight the element you wanna move around, you wanna rotate this or scale up and down. It's pretty easy and straightforward. If you don't need the element, you can click the little delete button next to it. It will disappear. If you feel like you made a mistake, at the very top there's undo and it's back. All right, what if you need additional slides? There are two ways. We can add blank slides. So I hit here, to slide number four, click on page actions and I can insert a new page. In that case, it's just a brand new white page. Let me undo. Instead of inserting a brand new page, I will click those three dots and I will duplicate the existing page. So I got copy of that with all of the backdrops and fonts and now I can delete some stuff to modify it. All right, so the correct way is to make duplicates copies of the slides that you need and then you can rearrange stuff on them. So don't add a brand new page, it will give you this white blank stuff without anything on it. Just click here and duplicate instead. Here it is. If you want to hide a page during your slideshow presentation, you can also select here, skip page. So you can hide it temporarily without deleting it. That's also very handy. If you are done with your presentation, you can present it straight away from here, from Adobe Express. If you click present at the top, here's the full screen mode. Now we can move between slides like in any other slideshow app. Or, if you want to share this offline, you can also download the presentation. So let's click the download button next to it. And now we got several options. We can download as PDF. We can also download individual JPEGs or PNGs, but I recommend PDF because you will get all of your pages, all 14 pages in one document. So I will download PDF. And here it is, I just downloaded the entire slideshow presentation as PDF. I got all of the slides on separate pages, so it's very, very handy. All right, that's how easy it is to create a presentation slideshow in Adobe Express after the recent update. I hope this short tutorial was helpful and I will see you in the next one.